Two Yale University students were robbed at gunpoint. The incident has shocked students on campus. Frankly, I'm, I'm just so stunned that I, I don't even know what to expect. There is a lot of that on the Yale campus tonight. The victims tell police they came face to face with the suspect inside a dorm. News 8's Mario Boone has been talking to students all day. First at 5 tonight, he brings us the very latest on the search for a suspect. Mario. Well, the gun wielding crook still on the loose tonight, and that has many students here at the dorm where it happened worried not just about him being out there, but the fact that an armed intruder could get inside this building here and rob two of its students. It's absolutely terrifying. As if final exams not enough. Now, Yellies living in TD College Suites on Tipple Street at Yale University are in fear after an overnight dorm invasion armed robbery. Someone just walks into someone's suite and like th that's their private living quarters and just pointed a gun at them and robbed them. Two female students got away unhurt. The armed intruder took off with a computer. Two hours later, Yale cops issued a campus warning. Was two hours too long for the police chief to release a statement? Yeah, absolutely. It was way too long. Everyone was panicking. No one knew whether they should stay where they are. Now, the big question. I just wonder how they got in. It's definitely scary because they have to get through uh, two levels of doors with key card access to get into anybody's room. Despite huge gates and electronic locks, getting in isn't too hard. As you know, it's a big city and people can be walking on the streets and walk by and people can just can slide in behind other people. The victims in this case reportedly left their sweet door unlocked, something freshman Jacob Payne admits he often does. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those people. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Why do you do that? We don't really like to carry our keys. It's just too much of a hassle. And Jacob Payne tells me he will no longer be leaving his room door unlocked. Uh, as for the search, that search continues tonight for the suspect. One other point, the delayed notification piece of this. Uh, we did reach out to Yale University PD. They responded back to me late this afternoon telling me that their first priority was to flood the area with officers to make sure that if the suspect was still here, he didn't rob someone else. Reporting live tonight in New Haven, I'm Mario Boone, News 8.